Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. I'm Peter Moxling, Keeper Emeritus, and last time, we took down Grey Phoenix. And so we're now starting our investigation of Sacred Coil. And as I predicted, actually, we got a new recruit because we finished out, because we finished up the first faction. Yay! Okay, that's complete, whatever. Idle. Unrest, cool. The anarchy down to one. Decently handled situation, by the way. Oh yeah, uh, critical mission. Um, that way. There we go. Unrest intensifies. City 31 unrest is, is becoming more serious. Why am I getting this now? Oh, wait, what? Okay, that's different, I think. The first one, I thought that's how it worked anyway. City unrest is becoming more serious. From now on, any ignored mission will add two unrest to its district. Any ignored situation will add one unrest to its district. Okay, neither of these have anything. We just have this, and it's a critical mission, so we are doing it. Noted. So let's go to the... Let's, let's recruit an agent first before we look at the scavenger market, actually. Okay, so we got Shelter, Torque, and Patchwork. We have seen all three of these at this point. Torque is the one that I actually used to a certain extent, but I didn't really use her... Uh, are they called again? They're not vipers, are they? Are they vipers? Whatever. <laughs> I didn't use her snaky abilities very effectively. I did try to use Dazzle, and I used Relocate once or twice. I wasn't super impressed. Uh, you use a pistol, I think. SMG. SMG, I think. You're also a gremlin, though, so we can hack doors. Also, you eventually get combat scanners. Scan through room, applying hull targeting to all enemies. Increase the squad's aim by 15 against marked enemies. One use permission. So, you basically get the hollow targeting uh, item. Or hull scanner, I think it's called, but as an ability. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, lower health than normal. Who has best aim? The all the same aim. None of you have crit. You have higher will, assumedly, to go along with your psi. You have better mobility. And you have dodge. I'm mainly thinking these two, you for combat, you for your gremlin utility stuff. Hmm. Let's say... Uh, psionics, ally buff, mental attacks, moving enemies and allies, poison, utility, electronic disruption. I would like to know what weapons you use, though, because I think that you use a pistol, which is going to be masterwork, and you two use uh, SMGs, which are going to be nothing. <laughs> um... It's a free action to bind them. I feel like another gremlin unit is going to be the best here because it makes sense that we don't need key cards and we can get the uh, hollow targeting and technically combat protocol that basically is. It's just that I haven't used our existing gremlin unit so far because I phased her out of the main squad. Probably that, but let's check biography just so we can read. Old World Origin, Mexico. Prior to invasion, first of three children raised in Puebla. 2015 invasion, orphaned and grievously wounded. Lost both legs and an arm at four years old. 2016 to 2034 occupation, raised communal communally at a relocation camp. Eventually moved into Advent's version of an orphanage. Used as propaganda after a gene therapy clinic rebuilt her limbs. Grew disillusioned with Advent as her technical skills improved. Extracted by XCOM at the behest of an anonymous tip, later learned to be her own. Oh, wow, so, so she got herself out, okay. 2035, War for Liberation. Initially supported XCOM as an engineer on the Avenger. Oh! Transitioned to active duty after a mid-2035 loss in personnel at 24 years old. In present, remained with XCOM, tra transitioning back to engineering. Re joined the Reclamation Agency at the personal request of Chief Shen. 
her technical acumen is a boon to Chimera Squad. Hey, someone who was actually a part of XCOM 2 in some way. At least theoretically. Patchwork, when did you get in? Not so long ago. What's wrong? I spec'd out a whole workshop for our field office. Which is currently sitting in a warehouse while they finish the building. I'm sorry. I'll be fine. I just need to find a place to tinker. Pick any open floor space. There's so much of it. Okay, yep, all that. Health plus two because of your armor, right? Inherent Shred, Chaining Jolt, Actor, Reprogram, take control of a robotic enemy. I mean, now that we're facing Sacred Coil, that can be more useful, actually. Loadout is... Okay, we got an assault rifle. Okay, you are useful then. <laughs> I love that it's just a change in weapon is enough to make her go from, eh, maybe, to, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so two idle agents, scavenger market, let's go. Superior stock, advanced autoloader, small lyrium. Four days. And we're doing this today for credits. It gives us three days for Illyrium. Spec Ops is currently open. Did I not put anyone in Spec Ops yesterday? I, I forget if that was open. Yeah, it was. Shit. Illyrium for 25 Illyrium. Right, right, okay, cool. Okay, so I'm currently thinking, put Terminal in as usual, Patchwork into the main squad, Godmother into training. Does that work? You to here, you to there. I think that works. That's three days to get 25 Illyrium. It's not a ton, but it's something. We could get 50 Illyrium from the scavenger market, or we could just focus on getting more, more uh, field teams up. That's at rank three, and that's uh, one in every district. One, two, three, four, five. So we have four remaining. You're at 95 at the moment. I could basically get two of these. Currently on Wednesday, currently getting 45 intel per... Actually, you know what? 45 intel. Yeah, that's up at basically one small item from the scavenger market per per week, just in our uh, income. Check assembly for a moment. Okay, okay. If we get the 25 Illyrium from this from the spec op, then we can do this. No Illyrium, no Illyrium, and that is an upgrade of some kind. Gray Phoenix Poison Cure, what the hell? Gas Grenade, Venom Rounds. Gray Phoenix brought a variety of environmental hazards to the fight. Let's learn from that. This is theoretically quite good then, because it requires you to have progressed to the point of completing the, completing the investigation. Overdrive Serum, Hell Weave, Regen Weave. Honestly, I might do that after the shotguns, because this is going to be so expensive. And that doesn't take any Illyrium. So, sure, let's go ahead and get some field teams then. 95 there for more, um, for more intel income. I could get two more if I do these instead. That'll leave me at one field team shy of being able to reduce city anarchy. I think that's worth because I think that as you go further into the game, Intel is going to get a little bit less, of, uh, a little bit less important, because the scavenger market is going to have items that are still useful but not like mission critical. Whereas Illyrium is probably going to be extremely important till like almost the end game, and credits are going to become more important as you try to get specific items. So this 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 is a total of 130. You have 180. Good. And here, this. And yeah, that's too much for any more. We could theoretically get an advanced auto loader or an Illyrium cache. I'm not gonna lie, the Illyrium cache is kind of tempting, but I think we hold off on our intel until the next scavenger market so we can try to get whatever items we want from that and then try to fill out our last field team. 
In fact, there's a chance I might fill out our last field team the moment we have enough intel, just that we can do the anarchy thing down here. Okay. Training. Godmother. Marksmanship. Get rid of the uh, crit chance scar. Two days. I suspect that's going to be a the mission we're going to do, and then a situation day, because we, we're doing two major missions in a row. That then means put patchwork in. You have an assault rifle, which is good. Armory, patchwork, loadout. Uh, make items available. Okay, good. That for now, just that we have her on some more items. Another card. Another inducer. So she's not going to have all of her abilities, but she'll at least have some stuff she can do. Four days on our Mastercraft shotguns. Three days on getting 25 Illyrium. God, that's so little. And two days on Godmother being out to get rid of her scar. And we are doing this mission today, absolutely. Uh, we can check supply. could try for some kind of other item here. At this exact moment, I'm feeling like nothing is super worth it. Extra padding could be interesting. Let's go back to armory for a moment. Because who doesn't have an armor? Because you have mock weave. Oh, wait, I can click on these, Don. Not abilities to out. You have adrenal weave. Oh yeah, that's what that does. Infiltrator Weave and Flux Weave. So you all have some kind of armor, it's just that it's not the uh, plus one HP one. Okay. I feel like this can get dangerous because we're putting in our first rookie uh, squad mate in the campaign. Everyone else has been pretty solidly uh, pretty solidly gaining abilities throughout this entire thing. So, I'm going to drop a save here so that we can revert to this as necessary. Uh, new save. Let's get into the mission and see if I'm utterly squashed. Because if I am, I can switch Godmother out. Or I can switch God Godmother back in, technically. Because that should put us back at a power level where we can take care of basically whatever mission at the moment. Okay, let's go get 45 credits. An informant spotted sacred coil poking around the entrance to an old advent bunker. We need to know why. The secrets of those underground bunkers sh sh should remain buried. Difficult, which is less difficult than the last time. 45 credits. Okay. And everyone is kitted out. Obviously putting different stuff on her might work, but it's what we have at the moment. Just to be sure. Get no additional items. And yep. Okay. Go ahead and launch. Uh, wait, wait, wait. No, don't yet. Keypad door and vent. Okay, we have a keypad and we have a vent. Good. Three encounters. So this is a long one. Operation Dastardly Veil. Let's go. Boop, boop. Welcome to City 31's not so hidden Advent Bunker. A witness spotted Sacred Coil poking around down here. If they give you trouble, poke back. Okay, we got a vent. So successful shots on enemies during breach will stun. Man, be great if we could shoot multiple times during breach then. Uh, last unit through this entrance is marked until the end of the encounter. All units get plus 25 A. Solid. Oh, I was thinking about Godmother. Whoops. Let's go ahead and put Cherub last then, because you have the most health technically, and eh, you don't actually have more um, more defense, but it feels like you do because you literally have a shield. No need for the med patch. We have three encounters, so might as well hold off on the target analyzer and the uh, ceasefire grenade. Yeah, nothing else to do, I think, so let's go. Time to breach. Thank <laughs> you. 
Whoa! Oh, they're so easy to kill. This, this is cathartic. Another hostile down. <laughs> it took one shot, not three. My characters can aim. If you miss the first like 10 episodes or whatever this campaign, this is the faction that I took on the first time. And there's a reason why it's the first time. Yeah, go ahead. Hold on. There are only... There's only two left. I can take that down with Verge. Like, as in without using anyone else. Hostile pacifier. Okay, let me uh, back up from the, the sheer awe that I'm in here and actually explain. I am aware that via game design, this should be a step down in difficulty. If each main plot mission was a step up in difficulty, we would essentially need to have like five tiers of weapons to get through, not just three. So I'm essentially going into a late game, maybe not quite end game, or I'm going in with late, if not end game gear into what is like an early game mission plus one bump of difficulty in all likelihood. So it makes sense that I'm utterly squashing it. It just feels real good. Subdue is still two to three. Yeah, I didn't get the item though to increase that. Oh well. Cool. So the next sacred coil is putting up one hell of a fight for an empty bunker. We're missing something. I'm going to contact city archives. They may have more detailed records than HQ. Give me a sec. Cool. Another vent. We'll get a stun and you'll get extra defense. Good. Entering through here marks your units until the end of the encounter. So all of them are marked this time. Okay. Now, there's obviously no need for the meta patch. Do we need the ceasefire or the target? Or... Yeah, you actually can't use the target analyzer. Hmm. Do we need the ceasefire, though? I'm willing to bet on no, based on how the first encounter went. They could kind of pull a fast one on me and put some more difficult enemies behind here. We handled that so well, though, that I'm willing to at least hold off. We shall move in. Ready to go. Okay, we got some uh, alert enemies at least. Anyone got more health? You do. Yeah, you're probably the most dangerous then, because five health uh, alert versus four health versus four health alert. Jerk you. Good. One less hostile. Oh, I just realized that another thing that's kind of in our favor, or like with how we did it the second time, uh, Sacred Coil here has robots. Robots, A, explode, and B, you can't knock them unconscious. So if you use, sa so if you go to Sacred Coil first, you actually likely have less intel income. I, I didn't think about that before. Okay, you get to take the easy way. You know what, no. Ah, uh, you... That, that, that takes sex. Yeah, you get to take the easier way out because I want you to get kills so that you level up more. Good. You are alert. Go ahead in 91. I could go for the 71 and try for the unconscious, but we already have two or three unconscious, I think. Yeah, one, two... Three, at least three, maybe four. Wait, no, robots don't count. We're at two or three, I think. Realistically, I want to get the kill more. You know what? They're alert, not surprise or not uh, aggressive. Not so much for that. I pressed the shoot button, thinking that it was the go back to normal shooting button. Oh well. 
Hey, something lived. Okay, looks like we got two. Once the game decides. There we go. Android, Android. Yeah, so it really doesn't matter. Stop living! If it counts as such. Um, that is inaccurate. Let's just shoot it. And on the plus side, Patchwork gets to get a shot off. I could pre-pro- I could reprogram. Uh, just chaining jolts. Will end turn. It doesn't say there's any kind of cooldown, though, and it's a 100% chance. Damage 6-7, okay. Melting hardware. Overloading target. Cool. That was not 6-7. Okay, so that didn't quite show up correctly. It was probably showing her gun. Well, might as well use our breach items here. It's just that it's going to be super overkill. Is after. Would anyone care to guess? All the gremlins I lost in the war? Yeah, a defunct mech repair bay. Which, according to these power readings, is currently very funked. Might as well. It does make it so we don't get the plus 50 crit. I think it's worth to get the, uh, uh, to get the, get, get, to get the drop on them. You. Do you have any? No, you don't. You with ceasefire and you, and we can't use meta patch because nothing has shot at us this time. And I am absolutely in favor of that. Time to breach. Also, a good time for a mech person to be to join the squad. I didn't even think about that. Oh, well, we finally got an aggressive. Goodbye. Another hostile down. Yeah, fifty nine. Unfortunately, uh, I'd say it's still worth because because on hit it's gonna get a, it's almost certainly gonna get a kill. Two thirds, I guess, if the damage is actually distributed evenly. Uh, either of the pistols would be able to clean it up, though. So sure. Cool. In that case, let's go ahead and lancer shot that. Ninety-four. Cool. Okay. I actually, need to be serious. That got it. Good. Okay. This is a bit more of a fight this time then. Right, I forgot they had smoke. Mech's coming online. Destroy the control system before they all wake up. No reinforcements yet. I suspect we have till the end of the round, though. Ugh, 51 on that. I know it's out of order. You know what? Team up. Blue blood for the most shots. And then Patchwork has the Mortal Inducer. Let's just try to take some of them out, because the fewer enemies, the better. The robots tend to start by using Prime so that they can explode. Uh, that's going to take probably three shots to take down, unfortunately. Hmm. Two, admittedly. I suspect that we get, like, one mech coming online per turn this thing is active. In which case, let's try to take on the enemies. Good. One less hostile. Nice and clean. We could go for the coin flip. I think it's a better idea to try to take out half of this thing's health, though. That way we can basically have Blue Blood take one of them out and then join. Slash take out the android, and then we can kind of clean up one at a time. I'm not expecting that to go the way I the way I want it to. But I do have phase lance, I just remembered. <laughs> phase lance, which uh kind of sort of reaches. Okay, cannot get two.
Get the kill. You can't get the kill on that. Let's go for the 44 here then and just and just try to clean this up. And if it doesn't work, uh, go ahead and shoot the uh, controls, I guess. Head's not in the game. Darn. Okay, so I can do this, and then the and then the android gets a turn, but then patchwork can modal inducer verge, and we get more shots off. Have I ever seen the robots shoot? I, I think they normally prime for self-destruct and then move. But prime self-destruct has like one dead turn. That. And move. And shoot. Okay. I felt that one. Okay. Modal Inducer. Modal Inducer Blue Blood. I have an idea. Probably not a good idea, but it is an idea. Because you two are basically in a line. I'm going to try to put you here so that you still have cover. That looks like it works. Drop in the hammer. God, that ability is good. Nicely done. Okay, you don't have reflex grip, remember. The double shot is not a part of the assault rifle, it's a part of Verge. So if I chaining jolt, four damage, 100%. Okay, sure. Shocking hosta! Electrify. Thank you, Verge. The training paid off. Don't get cocky. Okay, so uh, you already have um I am so tempted. <laughs> I want to kinetic shield cherub and then charge bash because I know what's gonna explode in my face and I want to see if it does damage. Just go for the kill. Just finish it. <laughs> Gone. Okay, Blue Blood took a single bullet, and that is fine. We got exactly five captures, so we get the 20 intel. Mech Repair Bay seized. An entire mech repair bay hidden beneath City 31 streets. What other secrets does Sacred Coil keep buried underground? I mean, does Sacred Coil keep that buried underground? I kind of thought that was part of the city. That's why uh, Whisper contacted the historical archives. Got 45 credits and 20 intel. Simple but effective. From the archives, transcript from re from what transcript from of Reclamation Working Group Meeting, 2038, August 24th. Kelly, 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 Kelly. Do I know a Kelly? Forget. Oh, that's our boss, isn't that? I need better candidates. Seasoned XCOM soldiers aren't good enough. They're perfect soldiers, but Reclamation agents aren't fighting a war. They're keeping the peace for everyone. You expect XCOM soldiers to trust alien squad mates, just like that. John, I struggle with leading the people I, I... I struggle with leading the people I used to fight. But I need Canada to accept that the world is changing. If Sacred Coil went after mechs, they need soldiers. But for what army? They were underground until Mayor Nightingale's election drove them to the surface. Their hatred for her gave them motive. Find out if Sacred Coil had the means to carry out an assassination. Again, you have crystal eggs already, because why the hell not? City 31 became the world's only source of androids after retooling Advent mech factories. Sacred Coil has been sniffing around there for the past week. Find out why. Yeah, notice how there's already the slot for the third one. Okay, that's it for the mission, have though. Have you noticed the growing amount of violence in our city? I have, Glorgo, I have. Makes me wonder if 3-1 PD knows how to do its job. That's a bold statement, Roger. All I'm saying is that it didn't used to be this way. Not when Shrike was keeping the peace. Oh, come on. Mercenaries make bad police. Everyone knows that. Maybe you're right. 
but at least there was peace. That's it for the mission, and thus the episode. So, if this video hasn't ruined your life, then go ahead and do that YouTube stuff for a million times. I hope you have a wonderful mini for day, and I'll see you in the next one, where, well, we'll probably get Godmother back, and I'll probably try to keep her out of the mission for a while. You know what? No, actually, getting her to max level is a good idea. Because getting a, kind of like with normal XCOM, getting everyone up to max level, then cycling in rookies is a decent idea for how to keep your squad as strong as possible, but also versatile. Okay, fair enough. And five days until the switchyard. Noted. Well, see you in the next one. Bye.